All right, well, the spring season has finally arrived and so has one of our least favorite times of the year. The sneezing, itchy eyes and runny noses that come with allergies. New research shows higher counts of pollen are starting earlier and lasting longer. You can thank the mild winter weather for that. And for allergy sufferers, it means this season is expected to be a whole lot worse. Just how bad? I recently asked Catherine Monteleone, an allergist and immunologist at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. It seems like allergy season never ended, Dr. Monteleone. So has this now become a year-round issue? Well, many people do have year-round allergies because they have indoor and outdoor allergies. But normally, you would get a break over the winter or in the real mid-summer when it's very hot and dry. This year, it's starting early, so people are having symptoms earlier. Is it earlier and longer? And what can we attribute that to? It is earlier, unfortunately, it's longer, and unfortunately, it also has more pollen being distributed from each plant, and that's really all global warming, increasing temperatures, so pollen and plant growth is just going on longer and longer, starting earlier and going on longer. Why is that? I mean, this is, for allergy sufferers like myself, not very good news. Um, why is that? This seems to have been a trend now that we're seeing over the last several years. Right, it varies year to year, but there is a trend, and it seems to do with global temperatures and with carbon dioxide in the air so that there is more robust plant growth they're growing because the temperatures are, are warmer. I mean, we saw warm temperatures this winter. They're just growing earlier and budding earlier, and that growth is continuing. They're not drying out, and um, the pollen, therefore, is being shed longer. And because of increase in carbon dioxide levels, the plants themselves are actually making more pollen. Mm, so it's not just more pollen. It's also more potent. It's more potent because there's more in the air. So uh, how does one tell the difference then between uh, allergy symptoms and we're still in this respiratory season as well uh, of different illnesses going around? How does one tell the difference whether they have a cold, a respiratory virus, or allergies? Well, people who get them every year seem to know because they know what's coming. It's that time of year and symptoms start. For people in whom this is new, Allergies are more itchy, sneezy, runny. You don't really get the fevers and the aches that you get with a cold. So that's a little different. And a cold will be sure to live. It will go away in five days a week. And um, an allergy will not. It will continue yeah. through the entire season. So, okay, if we're seeing it flare, let's say, a month earlier than, than we typically did, um, how long does the allergy season go? When might we get some relief? Well, we're in tree season now, and unfortunately, that bleeds right into grass pollen season, so you won't get relief. And then you you might get a little bit of relief if it gets very dry and hot in, you know, end of July, beginning of August, but then mid-August, the ragweed and the other weeds start. And some people just go all year. It just, it, it really depends. Mold is out there. If we get moisture in the summer, certainly mold is in the spring and fall. So depending on what you're allergic to, unfortunately, it really can just go from one season into the next. So your office is never not busy. That's what you're telling me. Correct. <laughs> All right. Catherine Monteleone, allergist and immunologist with Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.